erase lady. that or I'll punch the fuck out of you. Hey, lady, you're crazy. Erase lady. that. Lady. She is in total disbelief that he hit her back. They're not looking at you anymore and saying, well, this is a woman, I'm not gonna hit her. They're looking at you and saying, this bitch is out of order and if she put her hands on me, I'ma punch her back. With this video, you guys know how I pretty much like to do. I like to get straight into the video. I wanna let you know and always remind you, especially because I know that there's new subscribers. I'm politically incorrect. A lot of the things that I say, it's only simply something that somebody's thinking that they won't say because they're so concerned about who's going to be offended. You have got to get over this thing about people being offended. If you say something and it's logical and it's truthful and it's reasonable, fuck who get offended. And I think that that's one of the biggest issues that we have in society today. No matter how truthful it is, no matter how factual it is no matter how much it makes sense most people don't want to say it because of the backlash that they will get from it this is an environment that has been created in an atmosphere that has been created to where people are not gonna say what they really think because if they say what they really think they don't want people ostracizing them now I want to show y'all this quick video and I really don't want to make it too long but y'all pretty much know how I do I tend to just go to fuck off I want to show you something as I always do. Let's check this video out because I do want to start getting into some other things and some other topics. But when you see this video, this is a prime, excellent, superb example of why you need to keep your hands to yourself. The mentality of men, it's changing toward women. Erase that. <laughs> lady, are you crazy? Whoa, whoa. Erase lady. that or I'll punch the fuck out of you. Hey, lady, you're crazy. Erase lady. that. Lady. Mm. Lady. Mm -mm. Move, bitch. Okay, no, you can't hit me. 911. Yeah, call him. You hit me. I got you on camera hitting me. I got you on camera hitting me. She running back to the car. Wait. Stay. Me. Stay. Me. Stay. Me. You can get it. You hit me in the face. Yeah, here we go. Karen of the day. I want you to just watch because I'm going to play this back and I'm going to say a couple things. Karen of the day that decided to hit me because I was filming. You lady, you're not supposed to hit me. I don't know who the f you are. You need to get away from me. Lady, lady, get the f away from me. Exactly. Lady, you hit me. Yeah, and I'm going to show the cops when you call them out here how you hit me. Yeah. I'm allowed to defend myself. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you see? You don't think so. That's liberal garbage. I'm allowed to defend liberal myself. Liberal garbage. That's me. exactly what you're it is. You're coming up. Yes, you did. I have that here. Try to move your phone. No, lady, you're not allowed to grab me. You're not allowed to grab me. You have no authority to put your hands on me. None. You hit me. You have no authority to put your hands on me. I was filming your altercation with that lady. I have you on camera hitting me, lady. You're not supposed to be in my in my. She hit me. She hit me. I saw that. I got. I'm calling the police. I don't know what the hell she's. What's wrong with her? Now y'all saw the video. I wanted you to see the entire video before I run it back and say a few things. Let's really think about this. What makes you think that you can walk up to a stranger and reach for their phone and tell them to delete whatever they recorded of you? You're bold. You think that you can just walk up to somebody and try to snatch their damn phone and say erase that? The nerve and the audacity that people have in society today. You can take issue to what I say, but at the end of the day, it would make more sense for her to just leave it the fuck alone and go on about her business. Not just that, but she says, erase that or I'll punch you. You be careful about what you say to someone. You never know how they're going to respond to what you say to them. You never know how they're going to react to what you say or do to them. But I've seen a lot of these type women here. I know her character well. You think that you can have your way and do whatever you desire to do with little or no consequence. 
sense. Think about the type of mind of an individual who will walk up on somebody and attempt to snatch their phone out their hand. You are a bold bitch. You bold. You are very bold within your foolishness. You are very bold within your nonsense. She didn't expect him to hit her, but watch this, watch this. Oh, lady. Or I'll punch the f out of you. Hey, lady, you're crazy. Erase lady, that. lady, move it. Now, some of you, you might say this. You might say, well, he a man, that little hit didn't hurt. He can take a hit. It wasn't nothing much. She's a woman. He didn't have to hit her back. I'm telling you the mentality that men are having toward women, it's shifting. You've been around here saying that you're equal. You've been around here saying that you wanna be treated equal. You've been very disrespectful. You've been very rude. You've been assaulting men. Now you have a lot of men and it's a large portion of them who are not sparing you. They're giving to you that in which you are giving to them. They're not looking at you anymore and saying, well, this is a woman, I'm not gonna hit her. They're looking at you and saying, this bitch is out of order and if she put her hands on me, I'm gonna punch her back. That's how a lot of guys are thinking now, especially this younger generation. She got knocked on her ass. And I'm looking at her face, she she didn't expect that. This is why I tell women all the time, you better be careful of what you do. You don't know, as I've mentioned before, how this individual may respond to your assault. She is in total disbelief that he hit her back. And then she gets up and she runs back to her car to get her phone to call the police. And let me tell you what individuals like her do, because I know them well. I know her type very well. And I'm not oblivious to the nonsense and the acting that they will do. These type people will start some shit initiate a conflict or initiate an altercation and then when they get a consequence for doing whatever it is that they've done they will call the police and they will put on an oscar award superb excellent acting job as if they done nothing they will act as if they are the innocent one and you are the aggressor. See, that's why you damn near gotta have everything on film. Watch how she gets up, run back to that car and call the police. You saw it, watch it again. Get, no, you Yeah, she didn't me. expect that. Yeah, call them, you hit me. I got you on camera hitting me. I got you on camera hitting me. She run back to the car. She's going to call the police and she's going to play victim. They know how to do this well. They know how to play the victim as if they didn't initiate the conflict or discrepancy. As far as I'm concerned, she started that. You should have never walked up on him. If you walked up on him, you started it. Whoever walks up on an individual, you started it as far as I'm concerned. You cannot control what somebody's recording of you, especially go to the extent of trying to snatch the phone out of his hand and then assaulting them, you get what you get in this world. You are going to get exactly what you've dished out. But this is a key part that I want you guys to understand. There's a lot of men who want to defend women even when that woman is in the wrong. Even when that woman is totally in the wrong, there is a population of men who still want to come to their defense. You better be careful doing that because I've seen situations where you trying to come defend this woman. You're trying to come to this woman's rescue after some shit that she started, after something that she initiated, after something she exacerbated. You don't know how somebody may respond. You need to be wise within all that you do. You're gonna be trying to defend her and you're gonna be trying to fight this man or do something to this man for knocking the shit out of her and you never know how he may respond to you. See, he may just punch her, but he might shoot your ass. 
You be careful about what you do. See, a lot of you motherfuckers, you wanna be superheroes and shit. I am a expert at minding my own business. Now, sometimes I understand that there are certain situations where someone does need to intervene. But for the most part, I mind my own damn business. Don't get yourself into some foolishness and then look for somebody to rescue you. You can get it, you hit me in the face. And then you yeah, stand behind his vehicle. You stand around day. him. Boy, I tell you, you people, you're not thinking. You don't use your fucking mind. The man has already shown that he's willing to hit you because you've hit him. Then you go and stand behind his vehicle. You're still around him. You don't know how he may respond. You lucky he not one of those guys to knock the shit out of you again. You should have been trying to get away from him. Ain't no way in the hell that you should have went and walked behind his car and pretty much blocked him from getting out, trying to get his license plate number as she calls the police. What if he was one of those guys that decided to push her the hell out the way and get more violent? You just don't get enough. You don't get enough. Karen of the day that decided to hit me because I was filming. Lady, you're not supposed to hit me. I don't know who the f you are. You need to get away from me, lady. And you still lady, walking up on away from me. Exactly. Lady, you hit me, yeah, and I'm gonna show the cops when you call them out here how you hit me. Yeah. I'm allowed to defend myself. No, I don't think so. You yeah. don't think so. See, many of you guys, you call women like her Karen. You say that's a Karen, which is cool. If that's what you want to call her, that's what you call her. But to me, you are just an untamed, out of pocket, unruly, no self control having bitch. That's what you are. That's the truth of the matter. That's what you are. See, a lot of people, they know this to be true. They just don't want to say it as vicious as I'm saying it. They don't want to say it as aggressive as I'm saying it, but they know it's true. They know it's true. How dare you walk up on me and try to snatch my phone out of my hand telling me that I need to delete the clip that I recorded. And you go as far as balling up your fist and you hitting somebody. Now me personally, what I had a punched or a knocked out, I probably wouldn't have. I probably was just bagged up. You don't know how somebody's gonna respond when you're walking up to them. You be careful about what you do. This Hicks Uncensored, I'm out of here.